about five o'clock in the morning, I got a call actually from the driver and he didn't know where he was, but he was in the truck and the truck was rolled over. We don't know exactly what happened, but no sooner had he got on the interstate, had a coughing fit and blacked out and drove the loaded tanker down a 250 foot embankment and rolled it over. He, 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 uh, 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 I knew it was gonna be financially hard for him. He's a single father. And I, I'm just glad that we're not, we, we weren't putting him in a coffin or anyone else for that matter. Each day in the United States, more than a half dozen people are killed and over a thousand injured in crashes that are reported to involve a distracted driver. At any given daylight moment across America, over a half million drivers are using cell phones or manipulating electronic devices while driving. Cargo tank drivers with less than five years experience account for two thirds of all rollovers. Our driver had just left the terminal. The, it was icy, it was in the middle of the winter time. He was on the interstate. Another semi-tractor had lost control. He was merging over into a lane. He crashed into our driver. Our driver was forced off the road. He went into an embankment and he rolled over. A rollover is a professional truck driver's worst nightmare. On the big screen, rollovers can be entertaining and dramatic, but in real life, they are devastating and tragic. Nearly half of all large truck driver fatalities occur in rollover crashes. Almost 10% of fatal large truck crashes involve a cargo tank. Each time you buckle up, let that be a reminder to ask yourself, am I prepared to drive? Your life and the lives of others around you depend on this answer. Think safe. While many factors cause accidents, four stand out. Speed, attention, fatigue, and emotion. Identifying and managing these four factors can help prevent accidents and help ensure you arrive at your destination safely. Most rollovers are the result of poor speed management. It's a fact. The faster you're going, the more likely an accident will occur. And in accidents where speed is a factor, fatalities are much more common. Many rollovers are the result of excessive speed at exit ramps or where there's an S pattern curve in the road. Liquid cargo tanker trucks are unique. They have a higher center of gravity and must take exits at a much lower speed than an automobile. The posted ramp speed is for cars, not trucks. A tanker being heavier generates more centrifugal force than a car going around the curb at the same speed. While it is difficult for a full-size car to generate the force necessary to roll over, a fuel transport can easily roll, especially when the load shifts to the outside of the tank. Speed can cause off-tracking, where the trailer does not follow the cab. Off-tracking can allow the trailer to trip over a curb on turns. Rapid steering can also cause drivers to lose control. Any combination of these factors can be deadly because they accentuate shifting loads, especially on a partially loaded transport. Bottom line, adjust your speed for the conditions. Um, in icy conditions, reiterate that they need to be driving slower or maybe not even driving at all. Inattention and distraction account for roughly 15% of cargo tank rollovers. Having a commercial driver's license doesn't make you immune to becoming distracted behind the wheel. It also doesn't protect you from other distracted drivers on the road. Driving in congested traffic or on unfamiliar roads is bad enough, but when you add in cell phones, radios, or eating, things can quickly become worse. You never know when a moment of inattentiveness will lead to a close call or a devastating accident. Stay focused on the task at hand. Put your phone away and do not engage in other distracted behaviors behind the wheel. Be aware of the vehicles around you and apply defensive driving. Just because you're being attentive on the road doesn't mean others are too. Anyone can become fatigued whether physically or mentally. 
Fatigued drivers have slow reaction times, poor judgment, and may even fall asleep. Research indicates almost a thousand people die each year and tens of thousands more are injured as a result of drowsy drivers. This likely underestimates the problem. Crashes reported as someone drifting out of a lane could have actually been a driver who was drowsy. Our driver had worked, uh, it had been a, a long couple of weeks, you know, high, high time uh, peak petroleum season, uh, fatigued, tired, um, northbound on, on one of our interstates, uh, maybe not paying uh, attention, distracted driving, went to avoid uh, a group of stopped cars and uh, rolled in the median. Research survey data shows that two in five drivers admitted to falling asleep while driving the previous month. Drowsiness and inattention together contribute to one in five of cargo tank rollovers. Fatigue is characterized by difficulty focusing, frequent blinking or heavy eyelids, trouble keeping your head up, yawning repeatedly or rubbing your eyes, daydreaming, trouble remembering the last few miles driven, missing exits or traffic signs, drifting from your lane, tailgating or hitting a shoulder rumble strip. If you find yourself experiencing any of these behaviors, pull over if possible. You are fatigued. Because pulling over is not always an option, as is often the case when driving a hazardous material tank truck, plan ahead and make sure you get enough sleep before you drive. If you struggle to fall asleep, following a relaxing routine an hour or more before your bedtime may help you. You could also consult with your medical professional. A sleep disorder may be recognized during the required periodic medical exam to determine your fitness to drive. Fatigue doesn't just impact drivers. It also impacts your vehicle in the form of mechanical fatigue. If your vehicle is unstable, even small driving mistakes can lead to big trouble. Routine maintenance should be an ongoing process as every vehicle driven accumulates wear. Once the drivers um, are certified, so to speak, with us that they can drive, um, safety, 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 maintenance. Uh, twice a year we do uh, safety classes for our drivers and then maintenance, we, we can't stress maintenance enough. Emotions can get in the way of a safe trip. From time to time, everyone feels anxious, angry, or rushed, but don't let that override common sense. Staying engaged with emotions in check will help you positively react to the unexpected, like tire blowouts, emergency stops, and obstacles in the road. If you encounter road rage, remember, you can't control other drivers' actions. Focus on yourself and what you can control. We've examined how speed, attention, fatigue, and emotion can cause transport accidents. We hope these reminders will help you in preventing a tragic rollover. We thought we were well prepared, um, but when something as devastating as this hits your company, you just can't fathom the amount of impact that it has on you. And, and the things you have to do, and your main concern is that anybody get hurt. Um, you know, you can buy a truck any day of the week, but you can't buy a driver. As a professional driver, ask yourself, if someone you care about was driving your transport, how fast should they drive? How attentive should they be? Would you let them drive if they were fatigued? How should they control their emotions? Just as they are important to you, you are important to us. Please make it home safe today. Brought to you by Federated Mutual Insurance Company. It's our business to protect yours.